This is NBR. Good evening, everyone. I'm Susie Garab. Questions about earnings and the economy make investors edgy, and that slams stocks on Wall Street. Good evening. I'm Tom Hudson. They say big things come in small packages. Well, Apple finally unveils its much-anticipated iPad Mini, but with a not-so-many price tag. And is a deal in the works to solve the fiscal cliff? A look at President Obama's surprise promise in last night's debate. That and more tonight here on NBR. For the second time in three sessions now, U.S. stocks suffered a sharp sell-off. Prices fell as weak financial results from corporate America fed fear about the global economy. At the closing bell, here are the closing digits. The Dow shedding 243 points today. The Nasdaq lost 26 and a half. The S&P 500 dropped almost 21 points, sending many of these markets to levels not seen since early September. Now, the heavy selling came after several household corporate names reported weak quarterly financial reports and lowered their expectations for the rest of the year. 3M, DuPont, and Xerox were among those releasing disappointing results. Erica Miller tonight reports worries about revenues have cast a shadow over the profit picture. Yes, it's earnings season. But earnings are not the most important indicator this quarter. It's revenues, which is how much money a company makes before expenses. Profits can go down, profits can go up. Sales, you want to see nice steady growth. And when you're seeing big drops in revenues and revenue misses, that's definitely a red flag. In the latest quarter, a slew of big-name firms have reported higher earnings but lower revenues, including Bank of America, IBM, 3M, Morgan Stanley, Oracle, and Walgreens. For the most part, the biggest problem is Europe, where many countries are in recession. It doesn't help that the red-hot growth in emerging markets like China and India is cooling off. The economy in the U.S. may be nothing to brag about, but for many firms, it's actually one of the stronger markets. When they talk about weakness, the weakness is everywhere else but in the United States, which highlights the United States as possibly being the one beak of hope. And that's where companies need to um, reinforce their strength then. Companies are also trying to boost earnings by cutting costs and selling non-essential assets. Others are using the weak quarter as an opportunity to clean up their balance sheets. Everything but the kitchen sink. You're going to take every write down, every mark down, everything that you can, get it out of the way so that you look better in the following quarter. But hopes are fading for a strong finish to the year. Of the companies that have provided earnings guidance for the fourth quarter, 22 have been negative and only two have been positive. Companies are already warning us not to expect too much from them for the fourth quarter. Um, we've received the most negative guidance since we started collecting this data on history. The weak global economy is not just bad news for big multinational firms. It's forcing many of them to tighten their belts by limiting hiring and investment. And that's bad news for workers and investors alike. Erica Miller, NBR New York.